Hello, my name is Erin Villeneuve. I'm an academic advisor with the College of Arts and Science Academic Advising Program. And I'm joined today by Dr. Andrea Cooper and Dr. Brandon Bain with the Department of Religious Studies. Hi guys. Thank you so much for having us. Do you guys want to introduce yourself and uh, tell us a little about the department and the major? Sure, uh, I'll go first. Uh, I am Brandon Bain. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Religious Studies. I'm acting as the Director of Undergraduate Studies this semester. And so it's my pleasure to be here and uh, help introduce our department to y'all. Uh, my specialty is in Religion in the Americas, and I focus on colonial missionary interactions between Catholic missionaries and indigenous people, particularly in what's now the American Southwest in Northern Mexico. Uh, and I'm Andrea Cooper. I'm an associate professor in the Department of Religious Studies, and I'm affiliated with the uh, program in Jewish Studies. And I uh, teach and research in the areas of modern Jewish thought and culture, uh, religion and culture, um, and gender studies, among other areas. Um, and I am on uh, the Undergraduate Studies Committee, uh, led by Dr. Bain. Great, and I think, uh, Dr. Cooper, you have a slideshow for us about the department? Yes, I do. So I'm just going to introduce you to some aspects of the department, let you know some background to how our program works and how you can get started in the field. Uh, so, uh, Department of Religious Studies, um, we've got some uh, major and minor requirements, but I actually first want to go forward to the slide on why study religion. So uh, as you probably know, religion is central to human society um, and it shapes politics, law, history, economics, science, the arts, and more. So in our department, we think about how we can understand our increasingly globalized world through the awareness of the dynamics of belief and practice and thinking about uh, the uh, cultures that uh, produce these beliefs and practices. Um, in the Re Department of Religious Studies, you can benefit from a leading interdisciplinary program and we integrate a wide range of scholarly methods from textual and literary studies to history and ethnography to archaeology. And you can see an image um, from uh, Dr. Magnus's uh, dig on the right there on our slide um, and critical cultural theory. Um, so you really get a sense of appreciating cultural differences of the past and the present. Um, through studying uh, religion, and the range of cultural differences in the contemporary world. And uh, religious studies also allows you to explore how human beings find meaning in their lives and construct identities. So these are really uh, both timely and, uh, uh, you know, timeless issues that, that we explore. Um, so a bit more, uh, information specifically about our program. Um, for the major, you complete nine courses in religious studies, two courses numbered above 400. And the undergraduate capstone, which Dr. Bain is currently teaching, um, is RELI 697. And through that, you develop a real cohort of your peers. Um, and then you take at least one course in each of three of the department subfields. And these include ancient Mediterranean religions, Islamic studies and religions of Asia, medieval and early modern and historical studies, religion and culture, and religion in the Americas. And for the minor in religious studies, um, you complete five courses, at least two numbered above 400, and at least one course in each of two of the department subfields, um, which I just uh, mentioned in the previous slide. Um, so, I'm going to very briefly uh, just pop over to our departmental website to uh, show you a few more resources. Um, here, if you go to religion.unc.edu and you go to undergraduate, uh, you can read more about why study religion. So some of the bullet points that I mentioned are um, elaborated upon here.
And then if you click on the major, um, you uh, can learn more about the religious studies major and also about the religious studies major Jewish studies concentration, which is also housed in our uh, department. Um, as well as the religious studies double major, which is very popular with our students. Um, and you can also click on the minor to learn about different minor opportunities, um, which includes affiliated minors in Jewish studies, Christianity and culture, and Islamic and Middle Eastern studies. Um, you can also uh, learn more about research and travel opportunities um, and uh, other um, awards and honors opportunities for undergraduates. So I will uh, briefly uh, conclude by talking about religious studies in terms of careers in a global age. Um, so a degree in religious studies is relevant to a variety of careers in law, medicine, teaching, business, social service, journalism, politics, the arts, and more. And it provides essential skills in critical thinking, close reading, and oral and written communication. It produces well-informed citizens with broad knowledge of the richness of human history and cultural diversity. And many of our students pair religious studies with other fields and majors, such as biology, business, journalism, and pre-med. Great, thank you so much. And um, one last quick plug for you uh, to follow us on social media. Um, we are at uh, Rally UNC on Instagram, uh, on Facebook, unc.rally, on Twitter, um, and we have our own YouTube channel as well. Great, a lot of students that will be getting this information are gonna be freshmen. Are there any kind of freshman classes or first year classes that you recommend a student who's thinking about religious studies um, to take? So maybe I'll jump in there um, and uh, answer that. Yeah, I mean, I think we recommend that and we find that uh, folks who end up majoring in religious studies find us often through first year seminars. Uh, they find a broad topic in animals and food and religion or in um, religion and the problem of violence. And they start with those sort of broad questions, right, that impact uh, our whole globe and connect because it's a first year seminar. They're in a class of 24 people. They're able to connect with a faculty member. And it's really our faculty members that attract uh, students to our department. Uh, not a lot of people come to UNC saying, I want to major in religious studies. It's not, we, we're realistic about that um, because folks are, you know, rightly also focused on practical goals in terms of. Uh, careers going for, forward and what we find is that students once they take a class want to take another and then soon enough they figure out they can do a minor and then it's just a few more steps towards a major so we often get students that come along during their uh, get attracted in their first year and then take another course or two along the way uh, so those first year seminars that I mentioned a couple of the large introductory courses that have been very popular Jody Magnus's courses on archeology span in the time of the New Testament. Uh, I teach a course along with a few other colleagues on religion in America, uh, courses on the Hebrew Bible taught by Professor Lambert. And of course on the New Testament, it's probably the most well-known course from our department, really 104 taught by Professor Bart Ehrman. Uh, so that's really how I think in the first year you could most easily start to learn about the department. And it's really by not being afraid to follow up from that, right? To go to office hours, to talk to uh, professors after class and to just be curious. And I think that, that it becomes a very organic process. All right, and Dr. Cooper touched on this, but what do you see uh, religious studies students pair this with if they double major or do other minors? Yeah, we were just talking about this. I mean, we, we have had uh, the opportunity to uh, help mentor uh, several students over our time here. And we're just talking about one student that we both had a chance to work with in courses and through an honors thesis, who uh, ended up working in political campaigns for a couple of years and then now is in law school. Another student uh, that we both interacted with that's just gotten ex accepted with uh, 
think a pretty substantial package to Yale Divinity School to explore her interests, possibly in ministry, possibly in the academic study of religion. But really, I was, I was thinking about uh, just recommendations I wrote this week for people applying to PT school, applying to med school, dental school, um, journalism programs. So uh, to even to the thing like in medicine, right, where you might not think of it originally as a natural fit, but we found that um, a lot of students see it as crucial for them understanding how they'll work with patients, how they'll understand diverse populations and the cultures that they come from. And then how can students get involved with the department if they're thinking about this major? Right, so this is a tricky, and I imagine other departments are, and units are having to think through this right now. Normally, we would have a series of informational events. We have uh, sometimes monthly coffees. Uh, we have had an advisory council. Uh, we've uh, done pizza things. We do a formal uh, dinner for our majors every spring. And so we're rethinking all that right now, given the, you know, the move online and, um, you know, everything else that's going on in our world right now. Uh, one thing that we have planned for the spring, it will be uh, a sort of academic event where students will be able to present their research alongside perhaps faculty or graduate students. Um, so we're re-strategizing, but there, there will be events along the way. We'll be announcing them on those social media platforms that uh, Professor Cooper mentioned. Okay. And then what kind of opportunities in terms of we're thinking to study abroad or research or um, that students have with the department? Yeah, I, I can jump in there. So I, I mentioned this briefly, um, but we um, have uh, a great research and travel opportunity in our department, which is the UNC in Israel Archaeological Excavation, which is the uh, dig directed by Professor Jody Magnus, um, which provides students with the opportunity to participate in an archaeological excavation while learning about ancient and modern Israel. Um, and there are, uh, there's information about that on our website, um, as well as information about how to apply for funding, which is um, significantly uh, available uh, to students who participate in this dig. Um, and we have some more information about that there. Yeah, and I think you shared your contact information for the department. It was religion.unc.edu, is that correct? All right, and then if we were on campus, where would we find the department? Well, I'll answer that since my background uh, <laughs> is meant to convey that. We're in Carolina Hall, what was formerly Saunders Hall, renamed a few years ago to Carolina Hall, and we're on the first floor, so we occupy that entire first floor. So as soon as you step in through any of the doors, you would be in our department. Okay, great. Well, hopefully we can all be in person soon. So too. But is there anything else you guys want to share about your department um, with our students? Well, I think, um, you know, just to reemphasize something that Andrea, Professor Cooper already said in the conversation is that uh, we are a top ranked department. We've got 20 faculty members uh, trained in archaeology, trained in linguistics, trained in anthropology and ethnography and history. So we really are intersectional and we're a good way to get to other fields in the humanities and social sciences and make connections to other fields. So. It's really, I think, our, the strength of our faculty and, and really a top-ranked graduate program and the graduate students that we have that are wonderful instructors themselves that I think attracts most people to our department. It's that experience of teaching in the classroom, be able to be in a smaller uh, unit that can have a more personal interaction than maybe uh, some other departments can offer. Anything to add, Dr. Cooper? Uh, I... Uh... I don't think so. I think that pretty much covers it. And, um, you know, we, we encourage you to reach out. Um, sometimes professors have what's called office hours, but think of them as student hours. Take advantage, reach out, get to know us. We're, we're a friendly group um, and uh, we welcome the opportunity to chat with you. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. We appreciate it.